Hi, I'm Mark from Winnebago, and I'm going to show you the uh, service bay on this Adventure 35F. Uh, it's a very large bay, very easy to clean out. We have a rotocast uh, compartment here that we build ourselves. And I'm just going to start from left to right and show you the features and, uh, of this uh, wet bay. Uh, starting off with the whole home filter. Now this uh, filter uh, filters out the water leading to your sinks and your shower, things like that, so you'll have good fresh water. And here's your cable connections. The first one of the three is actually cable that goes to all three of your TVs, your uh, living area TV, your bedroom TV, and your exterior uh, entertainment center. Next to it is the main portable satellite dish, so you can hook up a cable from a satellite dish that goes to, again, all three TVs. And then you also have a, a second dish that you can uh, actually put that directly to your bedroom TV. So you can have uh, two separate receivers and uh, um, be able to watch a different TV show on your bedroom TV versus your main TV. Here's your water pump, which uh, pressurizes your exterior shower. You, you can use that for a, a variety of things. The water pump is actually right there. And next to the water pump is a valve leading to this hose. And this hose is used to introduce coolant to your system when you're winterizing your coach. Here's your fresh water valve. It's in the down position now for tank fill. When uh, your tank is fill and it's, it, uh, it can't overfill because there's an overflow at the top and water will just run down on the ground. You'll know it's full when the water starts hitting. Then you hit uh, turn it to normal. And when you put fresh water hose pressure here, now with this to normal, it'll pressurize all your, all your faucets, your sink and your toilets. We have a light here. Again, here's your exterior shower and that can be used for a number of things. Here's another interesting item. This is a connector for a portable uh, solar panel. So in addition to the solar panels that you may have on your roof, you can have a portable solar panel plugged in as well, giving you added uh, um, electricity. Now this button here is a waste pump and uh, it, what we have is in this particular 35F floor plan uh, there are two toilets. One toilet is clear on the other side of the coach and in order to um, clean out the the tank that's on that side for the toilet it needs to be manually it needs to be electronically uh, pumped with a macerator pump. So you hit this button and it pumps pumps through this stinky slinky. Before you do that, there are three valves here. I would recommend you pull this valve right here, which is the, the far tank, black tank, and this valve, which is the main black tank. Uh, hit your waste pump, make sure everything's flowing through the hose, close the valves back up, Pull this valve, which is the gray waste tank drain. You pull this out and then run water through that. Another idea, a good idea, is while the valves are open, you can run water through your toilet to try to clean everything out as much as possible. And we also provide a place where you can attach a hose and uh, that's your black waste tank flush inlet. And it'll spray the inside of your tank and get it nice and clean. So once you, once you uh, dump your black tanks, you close those, you open up your gray tank, you flush that out, close it, put your lid back on, punch your slinky away, and you're good to go.